Privyet, my friends, and welcome to a taste test. Now, I don't know if you guys knew, but that's Russian. I learned it a long time ago. I don't know, my hands are still up. I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm very sick. My allergies are kicking my ass this week, but I also have an obligation to you, my viewers and friends. And the good people of the Russian Federation. Anyway, uh, I ordered a bunch of Russian and Ukrainian candy from Amazon, which was really cool. I'll drop a link in the description. And... I'll just throw you the bag. Yeah, show me the bag. Uh, this is it's a most lot. of it. This is most of There's it. There's some I've already separated this out. Is, this is not all of it. There's about a pound of it. A pound, pound and a half, something like that. Still really substantial and for a pretty reasonable price too. Karen has actually been to Russia. I did a student exchange in Russia and I performed in the White Nights festivals up in St. Petersburg uh, in 2008. And that was a yeah. while ago. But over the course of the little while I was there, by the, by the second day I She was taught herself how to read Cyrillic. Um, so I, I can't read Cyrillic at I all. I went through the candy first and picked out uh, one thing that I recognized and a bunch of other stuff that didn't sound so bad. And two things that were marked in English. Hey! We're gonna go through, I think, about eight different kinds of candy right now. Um, a little bit of a taste test just to see what it's like, because I... Okay, story time. When I was a wee little Elise... And I was a... And wee Karen was Karen. a wee little Karen. Our great-grandmother... Our wee little great-grandmother. She wasn't very wee. But she was... She was old. She was... Well, she was in her 90s. We don't know exactly yes. how old she was. This is how Ukrainian our family is. We don't know how old because the church burned down. And we, we lost the records. There's... Th so this, this, is this, is a, a, this is a long Women's this History is, Month kind of story. Yeah, this is another story for another time. But the point of the story is my great-grandmother was very old. And she needed a she home needed helping. home helping, and my grandmother actually sponsored a woman to come over from Siberia, and her name was Halia or Galina. I I'm not entirely sure. We said Halia. We said Halia, and she but, said Halia, and she had a friend who was Galia, yeah. and they had the same name spelled the same way, but said they. Like, I think they said it differently for our benefit. Yeah. But, but the but. point of the story, she was a wonderful woman. We love her to death. Or she's back in Siberia somewhere now. My great my grandmother hears from her on occasion. But, Easter and Christmas usually. But the point of the story is I was so young that I didn't really learn any Russian. Always kinda wanted to though. So I figured a little bit of like a honoring for her. And and also we first tasted some Russian candies when we found a uh a Russian and Ukrainian sort of grocery store that she could go to because she was Ukrainian and lived in Russia. It's a long oh, story. Oh, very long story. Very long. The, the, the story of the Soviet Union, the former Soviet Union, that's, is a complicated one. Yeah, that's one that's not for a taste test. That's one for a history channel, not me. I'm anyway. going to start you with the Alenka because I want you to take a bite of this. That is. Okay, there's this chocolate brand that is represented by this youthful, healthful image of a small child. And when I was in Russia, everyone just called it the baby chocolate. Because no one learned how to read the Cyrillic. Cyrillic. And it was good chocolate. It was very different from what you would get in the U.S. Now, I'm not... I will say that the packaging itself is very different. Yeah. But that's oh. that's wrapped like a wrapped chocolate bar. Okay. Okay. It looks like a chocolate bar. It's dark. That is not going to be solid. You lied. I didn't lie. What is that? I don't know. Here. Okay. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be strange. Okay, I think there's like a wafer and then more chocolate. Yeah. There's a few varieties. It's not bad. There's I one just... that's the plain dark chocolate, the plain milk chocolate. Have Have you ever had it? If you've ever had an Aero bar, you know the texture. I don't know what it is. Tastes all right. Mm. It's like a wafer chocolatey kind of. I give it a thumbs up. This is not bad at all. Eh, well, it kind of is. I think it might be bad because we're sick. It's honestly, no, I I'm gonna say Russian chocolate does not have much sugar. If people think that American chocolate is 
more semi-sweet than milk chocolate. Oh Russian boy. chocolate is given to you for... in tiny, tiny, tiny amounts. Give me so, something else. Okay. These are two other things. This one I think might be marshmallow uh, because it's soft and it says Malina. Uh, I think it says Malina on it. Yeah, you got that upside down. But so take a bite and then let me have a bite. Yo, let me try to open it first. Oh. I think it's a chocolate oh, covered marshmallow. Swirled. I think you're right. I think it's a chocolate covered marshmallow. It's not just chocolate or marshmallow. Oh, so there's like a marshmallow and a jelly. Sort of. What kind of jelly? Is that rose? Vague berry? It's not bad. I don't know. Vague berry marshmallow chocolate. It's a, Again, it's not bad. It's not bad. And then the next one is Levushka. And that's got a lion on it. Levushka? Yeah, Levushka. And it's got a lion on it. I don't know about... Um, the stress on the syllable and all that. Uh, basically, I read phonetically. I think this might be from the same company. It may well be. Because it looks very similar to the last It might be like the made. boy version. Oh! I think there's honey. Mmm. That's like... Yeah, they... they Mark a good honey. amount of... Uh, Ooh! Yo, that lion chocolate! Mmm! That's yeah. real good! Mmm! Ooh, I'll take about 20 more of those. We only got one. Damn! The problem with doing the international taste tests is that I don't always know where to get more of what I've tried. We're gonna have to go to that Polish deli that has the illegal kidna rice. Oh yeah. Next up, now, these are marked in English. These are Choco Nougat. All right, where did <laughs> I know? Choco Nougat. Yeah, that's because I'm giving you nice things. But like we never know what the texture is gonna be, what the that is just a god dang three musketeers bar. Maybe better than the three musketeers? Because three musketeers kind of sucks. I like that. That's pretty good. All of the Russian and Ukrainian mm -hmm. and Polish candies that I've had that have been chocolate candies, um, they tend to have a very thin coating of chocolate on them. Mm -hmm. In America, we're like, no, drown it in chocolate. In Russia, they're like, yeah, just a little bit of chocolate. There's a little treat. I really like that one. Can tell me another story about when you were in Russia? While I try the next chocolate. I got hit by a taxi. We were coming in from the, uh... While I try my... Overnight train. Conafetto. Tell us about the time you got hit by a taxi. You have this in another color. You have a yellow one of these, too. Talk taxi! Okay! Well, uh, we were coming from the midnight... From the oh. overnight train. From Moscow to St. Petersburg. I like one of those like gold cookies. cookies. It's like a like cookie dipped in chocolate. Really nice. Um... Mm. And... I, uh, we were all trying to get our stuff moved out of the way, and we were trying to get on the bus as quickly as possible, we were trying to get on the coach, and we couldn't move that fast because there were 50 of us, and they kept having to take all of our stuff off and put it back on because they got us a bus that was only for 42, and we had 50 people. So we had people riding in the aisles and a lot of stuff. We had people, like, squatting down in the aisle to so that they wouldn't be seen when we got on the road to the hotel um, and Russia. I was standing back and they don't care if you're in their way. That's why the Russian dash cam footage is so viral all the time because people do crazy things and this taxi driver just thought he'd nudge me to get me out of the way and I didn't even budge. I didn't even move. I just looked at him like he was stupid and he looked at me with fear in his eyes. <laughs> it's a little bitter, more bitter than I thought it was going to be. It's hazelnut. Oh, I like it. I like hazelnut. Give me another chocolate. Uh-huh. Please. Please. Okay, so this is... Romashka. Romashka. says. It has little daisies, little flowers on it. I don't, like, again, I don't know what... It is, again, a dark chocolate. They're all kind yeah. of shaped like the same kind of brick. It's so solid on the inside. This is just a solid piece of chocolate? Oh, it's not solid chocolate, it's a filling. Marzipan? Maybe booze? Uh, uh, uh. This is great for somebody, but not for me. I think it's boozy. That tasted, like, cleaner. I don't think it's that bad, but... I don't think it's that good either. We just don't have the... Palette. We don't like boozy stuff. No. And even if this isn't 
doesn't have booze in it. Oh, I can't read Cyrillic or Russian. I don't speak Russian. Somebody who speaks Russian, help. Karen, what's this say? It says something, but it's got a moon on it. It says Pivdena. Oh, I'm afraid of this one. Pivdena Nietzsche. Nietzsche? So maybe it's like dark, like night? Well, it has a moon on it. What the fuck is that? I don't know. No, what Karen, like I just took a bite out of it. It's got a jelly inside. It's got like a dark red jelly. It's probably it black might currant. be black currant. I think it is. I don't like this one. Yeah, that's black currant. They love black currant over there. Oh man. One time that's I spent good. an exorbitant amount of money. Well, well, it wasn't really that much money, but it was probably it probably ended up being like fourteen dollars or so for a sundae that was vanilla ice cream. Chocolate and black currants. This is one of the nicest Russian candies I've ever had. You gotta lower your expectations for Russia. I just don't like black currant. You don't like dark chocolate and you don't like black currant. So no, Russia it's, is not. It's the, really tart. I'm not a fan. I think the last one we're gonna try has camels on it. Has camels on it. This was not the only thing we got with camels on it. So I don't Called know. Called a what the, cam uh, caracum. I think it's caramel. Because I know caramel, caramel is one of the other things. Caramel, camel, or like a caramel lump or something like I that. Or... Same. Okay, so this is the conicum. That's solid. It, again, it's not a solid chocolate. It's a solid thing, but it's something else. It's filled and robed in chocolate. More chocolate. Vaguely nutty? I don't know. Russia, send us some translations of what these foods are. It's better than that one I couldn't finish. Mm. Do we not one that's got the picture of the hazelnut and the coconut on it? The silver bomb bomb looking thing? That thing. Yeah. Alright. So this was the one thing that I saw in the bag that I kind of wanted to taste. May I open this one? I have to know. Yeah. Karen has one that's got a picture of masks on it. And it's called a Mosca. And this has got hazelnuts and coconut on it. And I like hazelnuts and coconut, so that can't be bad. Right? <gasps> it's very light. As in white chocolate. Oh! It's like a, um... Ro Roche? A little bit, yeah. Not as sweet, obviously. But... Yeah. It's not like not the Ferrero Roche, the other one they do. The, the Rafale. Or whatever it is, the one with the, the white stuff on the outside, the coconut. Ooh. No. Oh, I just took a bite of one called Mosca. Oh my god, I want another 12 of these. These were really good. I don't good. know whether I like For one, you take a bite. Eat the rest. No, I'm hot off the heels of something good. It's kind of like a peanut butter almost. But like, if peanut butter was a powder that made your mouth dry. Yo. I don't know. Guys, this is the one. This is the best thing I ate today. Oh, we went to Wendy's. This is super good. Small Miracle Coconut Glazed Wafer Sweets. Hey. Accurate. It was a small miracle. The Mosca, it's not bad. It's very bizarre. It, when you would not get a candy like that here. You would get a cream filled candy or a, a... Yeah. Texturally, they're just into different things that do things different ways. Things are, are way not as sweet and over sugared. Anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any recommendations for other countries that I should try snacks from, let us know in the comments. Um, if you have any experiences with Russian candy, let me know down below. Question of the day, do you like dark chocolate? Because I really, I don't. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. That's Madanya.